When the last one started, we had a swarm of earthquakes that came in early December. And then it came up really fast without us feeling it through another swarm on December 20th and lasted to May 27th. So when this went away, my idea was that the pressure would build and eventually add to this eruption. It did um, this afternoon. We didn't feel anything again, but I'm assuming that might have had something to do with the huge earthquake swarms we had a few weeks ago that may have broken some more ground open or whatever to give room for this to happen. This is what's going on right now in the crater. Basically, we have a massive cloud that is white with uh, blue smoke that you can see kind of intermixed in it. The blue smoke is sulfur dioxide. The white is most likely rain and other water that built up in the walls and in the floor since the last eruption that's now being vaporized away. And that can go down like literally thousands of feet. What do you think is going to happen in the coming days, weeks? Do you think this is going to last that long or is there any way to tell at this point? There's really no way to tell. The possibilities are that it will continue to fill until you can see it in the pit. The pressure will build up and it will come out somewhere else on the floor of Kilauea, down there on the drop down block, anywhere else out there down on the floor of Kilauea. Or it could follow the path of the earthquakes from a couple few weeks ago and go down the South Rift and we could see our first eruption in the South Rift in, you know, since the 1970s. So. No matter how it goes down, it's kind of exciting because you never know what's going to happen with the volcano.